Mm. First hole with my golf clubs, Jeremiah has hit his first drive out of bounds. That's one penalty stroke, two. I'm gonna try to make another attempt at being better at golf, which he won't because he's absolutely terrible at the sport. Oh, sh And it's freaking raining, and earlier today, what did you tell me? I said, As around the one, the rain will be done. Uh, it will be done raining by one. Well, it's still raining, and it's 122, so egg on his face. <laughs> we played in way worse than this in college. Yeah, oh, okay. Part of the reason why I was analyzing my last performance, I, I was given pretty terrible equipment. I don't want to blame it all on equipment. He was using my wife's clubs to, to, to be more specific. If I played with your clubs. <laughs> you would not do better. any better, I you're would, not good. I would perform much better. I don't think, I truly don't think you would. I guarantee you if I gave you bad clubs, I'd beat you. Literally no possible way on any planet, in any reality, that no matter what clubs I use, you would win. What clubs do you have today? I've got my yeah. custom made, tailor made clubs. Okay, those are now my clubs. I'm gonna go buy you a cheap set of clubs, and then you're gonna use those, I'm gonna use your good ones, and then we're gonna see how it works. I'm hoping that he gets me the new P790s. Maybe the Tiger Wood prototype blades make those things sing. They actually are pretty soft. Oh. <laughs> 600 bucks? That's just for the irons. Yeah, you want to get me the M2s or the M4s? How about these? They're $150. These are great. You need something cheaper because $150 is a little bit out of my price range. 150 bucks for an entire set is out of your price range? Yes. So we'll What the hell? You're not going to find anything cheaper than 150 bucks. So how about this? If you make this putt, yeah. I'll allow you to buy a used set for cheaper. But if you miss it, you have to buy me a set here. Okay, if, I'm, if I miss it, I'm buying you the $150 set. Deal. If I make it, I get to go wherever I want. I love when you miss it. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to see what clubs you All right, so where are we gonna go? I'm not going to tell you where. It's a secret spot I have. These are going to suck. See, I think that's the reason that you have no hand-eye coordination is because the only thing you've ever done is road motorcycles. You're like Ricky Fowler, but not athletic. Who's Ricky Fowler? Bigger dude, blonde hair. He wears like plaid pants, which I guess they all wear plaid pants. Oh, you're talking about John Daly. Yeah, John Daly. Yeah. No, Ricky Fowler is not John Daly. Okay, cool. Goodwill, baby. We're not going to Goodwill. <laughs> That's not golf. They're not even going to have uh, clubs in there. Oh, yeah, they are. They're going to have a, clubs. There's a homeless girl with a dog. There's no homeless chick with dogs outside of golf stores, Jared. That's how you know it's a golf store. Great. Great. I would be blown away if he actually found golf clubs in there. I don't even think Goodwill sells golf clubs. If, if he does happen to find some, they will suck with reckless abandon. But there's one thing that I know for certain, and that is that no matter what clubs he finds, I will beat the ever-living out of him. Which will just go to show you, it is not the horse, it is the cowboy. Are you the horse or the cowboy? I'm the I'm obviously the cowboy. Oh God, he's got, he's got a whole bag there, oh my God. You found a whole set? Goodwill special, baby. <laughs> Jeremiah will be using the M6 with the Tensi uh, Tungsten WM shaft. Does that have a camera in it? No. Or M5 uh, three wood with that uh, hazardous smoke shaft. Brand new P790s, little three iron. And then from uh, four iron down, we have the new uh, P760s. I know there's slightly newer ones out, but I really like the technology behind these. My Mizuno S7 wedges. And then I really like TaylorMade's new 60 degree uh, high toe. For the putter, we have a custom Adele Ashworth putter. It says, to the moon, the name, of, the name of a Broadway musical that's coming out pretty soon. Now, Jeremiah, why don't you walk us through this piece of shit? Bag. Okay. Set full of clubs you got for me here. So for Landon, he'll be using a Tritech Strong Series Copper Tungsten. It's a three plus. So take a take a whack at that. Give that a try if you want. It's got no grooves left on the face. This is a one and it's a custom 100 limited. That's a driver. Which means it's limited. And then I basically got every number that you could think of. I don't know what number that is, the price tag's still on it. But there's a number, a 13, a three, a four, a five, seven, six, a wedge, an eight, a nine, 
uh, 56 degrees something. Can I just point something out real quick? Uh, we got the Bio 2 Mech 13 iron. Yeah. I'm guessing that's like a 60 degree. Well, but... go ahead, take this bag. That's yours now. Okay. Enjoy that. Great. I'll take this bag. Great. Does this thing have wheels or do I gotta? You put it on the cart. All right, I'm not toting this piece of shit. Okay, I'm gonna go get a cart. Are you coming with? This is gonna be a disaster. So here we are at Griffith Park Golf Course. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you at the, I'll see you at the tee box, Chair. I'd like to note, first things first, Jeremiah had to pay for his round of golf and I got my round of golf for free because I offered the starter a free motorcycle lesson, which is just a little pro tip for you. I'll take off the championship ring. Grab a club. Jer. I'm using a glove. Where are we going, from the white or the blue? Let's go whites to help you out. Okay, no problem. Oh, dude, this is freaking money right here. Hey, get your little range finder out. Oh yeah, this feels great. Feels good, feels good. Oh, oh sorry, sorry about that. I yelled four, he just didn't hear me. All right, you want another ball? Yeah, give me another, right down the muscle. A nice little fade. If you make that shot, he'll get a par, which you won't. Okay, so we have the Custom 100 Limited Northern Golf Club. Goodwill Special. Club head is smaller than any club head that I've used since I was a little kid. The sticker is still on it. No one cares. What do you do as a pro when you're playing with golf clubs you never use that suck? You just swing less hard. Just on the left side of the fairway would give us a nice setup for birdie. Chair, you're gonna lose. The way you describe things makes your face so punchable. I don't know where the f ball is. I got a glove on, so I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this thing. I don't know what this is, but it looks nice. Rocket three, who gives a shit? Who calls a, a club a rocket? You know, the ball should be the rocket. Jeremiah, I couldn't find your golf ball, so we lost one off your first drive. It's all right. It's just a brand new Pro V1. It's not a big deal. Oh. You drove your first golf ball about 140 yards with your driver. Where's your little camera, huh? Oh, do you want a distance? Yeah. Yeah, man, I'll shoot for distance. 209. A little hole in one, or hole in two? Hole in four, theoretically. Oh, crush this bitch. I slipped. What the shit? What's that all about? No, 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 this one's for real. <laughs> Good job, man. You got it off the ground. Went about 14 feet. Three worst words of golf or you're still up? What the three worst words of golf would be? You're still You're up. playing golf. I feel like I need a club that can like really get underneath this shit. That is the club you have in your hand. When do I tap out? You can't, it's golf. Oh, shit. Oh, mother f***er. Four! Can I play that? Yeah, that's in bounds, right? No, that's out of bounds. God damn. <laughs> this is your eighth shot. Okay. What par is this? Four. Can I drop it where I want it? Nope. I'm slicing it. Yes, you are. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm getting there. You're still not on the green, but that was a valiant effort. Not bad, Jay. Rookie golf. 56, it looks like it's got a gold face. Gold face killer. This club once belonged to a uh, Mr. David W. Ruffing, and I uh, dedicate this pro shot in his honor. How could this not be in bounds? Pretty putt. Found my ball. At least you found his ball. This is your ninth stroke. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna put it right in the hole. Oh, shit. I'm warming up. Oh, You're still out, I'm God afraid. Damn it. On the green, baby. Now we're playing putt-putt, bitch. It's probably gonna go pretty fast because this stuff seems slick as shit. Is that your professional opinion, Jer? This is for your 11. Oh, sh This is really, really hard to watch. Lucky number 13, baby. All right, I would like to flag in. Oh. So I've got the uh, bulls <laughs> bullseye accouchement predecessor to the Titleist. Oh. A little tap in par. Sure. If I do 13 for 18 holes, that's 108 times three is 24. That's 124. <laughs> I hope it goes in the sand, though. Center of the fairway. I mean, you didn't do Jeremiah good. It's a whole different brand of good. So different that it's bad. Part of it is just talking to the equipment you have. I didn't introduce myself. Hi, I'm Jeremiah. Let's make some magic. That's great. Oh, hold on. Let me do some practice ones. Yeah, that'll make a difference. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah. It's not out of bounds. Yeah. Good job, man. See what happens when you talk? I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but whatever. All right, lane two. I'm back on track. Be you. interesting to see how he blows this from here. I'm not gonna give it so much muscle. It's all about finesse. 
Oh my God, this pitching wag is called the Heg. There is something loose in this shaft. <laughs> there are metal filings in it, without a doubt. So this should be interesting. Rusty. There's no grip left, so it's gonna be hard without a glove. I use tacky grips to help facilitate not having to wear a glove, because I hate gloves. That's on the green. That's a birdie putt. Did you just wink at the camera? I gotta go over this hump. That's gonna s Oh, God damn it. First one, I got it up in the air. I just wanted to go harder. Then I swung too hard and I blasted past it. Yeah, so it seems like you're learning a lot from all your other shots. So are you gonna swing too hard or not hard enough on this shot? Oh, he finally reached my, uh, my birdie putt. Okay, here we go. All right, this is for his nine. Oh, fuck. Interesting way to do it. Not bad, easy par. Apparently, there's slightly more to this than just the equipment. Who would have thought? Jerry's in a little bit of a bad mood. We just made the turn, and uh, he shot a uh, 22 on the last hole. Uh, I kind of got <laughs> behind a tree. He's a little upset. Jerry, do you want to explain what happened behind that tree when you shot your 22 on that last hole? It happens. Oh. Three iron called the Trinity Stiletto. It's a uh, ladies flex because it's a ladies club. Try to hit a little baby Why fade. Why are you not using a driver? I don't need one on this hole. That's pretty good. Oh. And he hooks it. There it goes. Yeah. If you're gonna be bad, at least be lucky. And he was. Standing on the car path, you can take relief. Okay. No closer to the hole. Put the ball at knee height and then just drop it and you just play it from there. I just don't want to break your club. I appreciate that. Can I get relief again? <laughs> I'm taking relief. Do I have to announce it? Yeah. Okay, taking relief. Oh, 22 left. We're here at Seven. Augusta National on this beautiful Sunday. Got a little bit further, Sunday baby. Sunday placements where Jeremiah Burton is. A little bit further. Trying his damn I feel like I need one of these to keep his head above water. He's hit two trees, both balls rocketed back at his head. He was able to remain unscathed from that. So uh, let's send it back to Jim Nance in the booth. Jim? Dude! Good oh, shot, yeah. man! That was a nine wedge. Putting for Eagle. I got on in two. Jeremiah got on in nine, which is pretty good. So let's see if I can uh, make this for my Eags. So close. Well, tap so in birdie putt. All right, I'll tap in my birdie. Bye. Oh, shit. Tap it in. Tap it in. All right, that's 11. So I'm not getting any worse. And my ball got chipped. I hit the tree twice. I'm using my tailor made big boy club. Oh, nice, dude. Little baby cut right in the center of the fairway. Heck yeah. It's just a mental game at this point. That is how you rebound from shooting a 22 on one hole. I don't hole. think it was that bad. Not bad. Usually it goes driver, 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 wedge. I'm about to smash this I know. Oh, gonna be blocked out by that tree. Let's oh. see a trick shot. Hey, you're right in the way of that tree. No way, dude. Oh, dude, what the <laughs> Three not awful shots in a row. I'm in the water. <laughs> Dude, you got a lot to be proud of, Jer. Thanks. You hit three balls that Straight. went forward. Look at this, one water hole in this whole goddamn place. What club do you want? I don't know, give me that a blue one, the 55. Just some wedge? Yeah, some wedge. If you were to hit this as hard as you can, how far would it go? Me, 120. Yeah. Four. If I was a guessing man, I'd say I didn't make very good contact. That'd be a good guess. That you made too good a contact with the big ball, not the small one. To be completely honest with you, I get out of here eight or less, I'm gonna be pretty pumped. Yeah, I would be. There we go. Yeah, that was Rubu. Heck yeah, Rotten baby. but useful. Hey, my name's Rubu, nice to meet you. I've hit every green in regulation today, that's pretty good. Oh, f too much fing god muscle in there. I'm betting that you're gonna get a 10. I'm, I bet, I'm gonna sink this right here. No, you're not. Under two digits, baby. Not bad. Congratulations. Good night, dude. Jeremiah is a little run down. Didn't quite reach his goal. He's already over 120. In fact, he was over 120 on hole 16, so he can't quite reach his goal. So as long as I uh, par this hole, I'll be good to go with my goal. Oh, 
Well, not bad though. Good news is, is it's not out of bounds. Heck yeah, baby. Hasn't been going exactly how I planned. Watch me, watch me work some magic right here. Oh shit. Hey -o! Almost on hey the par, but not. Oh, you All wrist, huh, Jer? Huh? All wrist, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was expecting to happen. God it. I'm gonna give you a little lesson you can take home with you with the uh, Wilson Gap Wedge Harmonized 52 degree. We're facing a slightly thick bad. lie, ball above the feet, green sloping to the left. Open up the club face, just pop her up in the air. Keep the V, as it were, of your arms and your shoulders. Swing right through it. See if we can't put this bad boy close. Legs pretty close together. Flare out the left foot. That was terrible. That was fucking garbage. All right, man, come on. You can make this double bogey. I believe in you. All right, so I'm just gonna baby tap it. Oh! <laughs> A little too much pepper. For my four under, 68. I'm starting to kind of fall in love with this putter jar got me. Boom goes the dynamite. What's the takeaway from today? A couple things. I probably need some sort of help from a professional. Would you uh, like some instructions from me? No, thank you. I'd rather bury my head in my own <laughs> hole and live there for eternity. Number two, clubs, they, they did have, okay, let's be honest. I started off pretty good and then I, a, couple, a couple holes threw me off and I lost some concentration. F oh, f oh, f oh, f it. oh, f it. oh, f it. God, f it. too much God muscle in there. Taking relief. Did, did the crappy clubs that you got me, that you swore were going to just totally sabotage me and, and level the playing field, did those seem to make a big difference? Yeah, you played pretty good with some pretty crappy clubs, which is why you should be a professional if you use these clubs <laughs> and you're not. So what does that say? It says next week we are going to get Jeremiah a golf coach and see how that goes. One more, one more, one more piece of the puzzle until I get into the 120s, and then it's going to be the 100s, and then it's going to be the 60s. Probably not the 60s. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Good Golf, Bad Golf. In our next episode, since Jeremiah failed the challenge, we get him a golf coach. That's right, world-renowned golf coach Mark Kagawan out of Sand Canyon Country Club. He's taught PGA Tour pros. You're not going to want to miss this episode. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. And we have world famous golf blogger, Zach Radford, as a special guest on our next episode. So stick around. We told you we'd give away an M6 with a $400 Tinsy shaft. Ryan Sprague of Chicago, Illinois. We got his address. We're sending this out to him for winning the challenge. And our next giveaway is for this bad boy, a one-off Scotty Cameron, California, Del Mar putter. This is one of one in the world, this putter. Almost don't wanna get rid of it, but we're going to. So how do you win this putter? You have to like, you have to subscribe, and you have to tag a friend who would like this stuff. So we can't keep giving out this content if you don't do your part and help us share it. So we'll see you on the next episode. Win this, Scotty Camden. <laughs>